Welcome back friends. In this video, we are going to see how to create a multiple instance of Spring Boot application. Okay. Using IntelliJ. Here I will, here I will going to create a very simple web application. IT daughter. Let's keep a demo. This is a demo app. Demo app. We are going to add web, Spring web. Generate. Let me open IntelliJ. started the demo now I want to import that project file new project from existing source and select that path here I am going to select the pom.xml file new window Yeah, project imported. Now I'm going to create one simple controller class. New class demo controller. At rest controller. public string print the simple method print this will return this is from demo controller ok that's it then get mapping get mapping that's it okay now I'll going to run this application let me move this uh, under controller package controller that is not necessary if you want you can move it okay now I'll going to run this application So here it's running under 8080, right? This is the one instance. Okay, this is the one instance of application we are running. It's running under port number 8080, right? Localhost 8080 slash print. Oh, okay. Here I'm not mentioning a path, right? So we, we can use without this. This is from demo controller. Okay. If you mention path, you can say you can say like this. If you mention path, you can say like this, right? 
print. Okay, we're going to restart the server. Server is started. So now we need to say local of zero zero slash print. It will work. Now I want to create a multiple instances of this demo application. This demo application. Okay, let's see how to do that. Stop the server. Run. Go to edit configuration. Go to edit configuration. Here, already one configuration is available. Uh, since I did uh, right click slash run, uh, automatically IntelliJ create the one configuration demo application. Now I am going to say rename it to instance one. Instance one. Then environment variable. I am going to say. Server dot port equal to a zero a zero. I'll say a zero eight one. You can use any port number. This is a instance one. This is a instance one port number. Okay. Apply. Okay. Now this instance one run under a zero eight one. Right. Now I want to create a one more instance for that. Again, go to edit configuration. Click plus. Click plus. Then click application. Say instance two. Then main class. Click the section main class. Demo application main class. Then environment variable. Plus. Click the plus. Then. Server dot port equal to a zero eight two. Now I have configured two instance for this demo application. Two instance for this demo application. Okay. I am going to run the two instance. For that, run, click run. It will pop up which instance you want to run. Click. Any one you want. I'll go and click instance one. Say instance one showing an instance one running eight zero eight one. Right. Now again go to run. Click run. Select instance two. To run the instance two of demo application. See eight zero eight two. Instance one under instance two. Instance one running under eight zero eight one. Instance two running under eight zero eight two. Go to browser. I change port number to eight zero eight one, right? So click print. It's printing now. Then copy this, paste it. Instance two. Both are printing the same method, same information because I'm calling them the same method, endpoint, same endpoint from different instance. Okay. This is a way of creating a multiple instance in a in a IntelliJ. Mul mul multiple instance of Spring Boot application using IntelliJ. In the next video, we are going to see how to run this multiple instance through command line, through command line. Then how to pass different argument in each instance. That part we are going to see in the next video. Until then, bye bye from Suresh. still not subscribe this channel please subscribe it share this video to your friend circle click bell icon for regular updates thanks for watching this full video